Okay, so like I was just saying, I'm going to skip to the next slide to show you an example of a Diamante um, poem. Move myself. Okay, so this is an example. This is antonyms. So it starts off with a topic and then it ends with a topic that's opposite. So it goes day, bright, sunny, laughing, playing, doing, up in the east, down in the west. Talking, resting, sleeping, quiet, dark, night. Okay, the next type of poem is um, a haiku. A haiku is a Japanese poem with three lines of five, seven, and five syllables. It has a total of 17 syllables. It does not rhyme, and it's about an aspect of nature or the seasons. So right over on the side of the screen. Um, there's an example. It says, little frog among rain shaken leaves, are you too splashed with fresh green paint? So there's three lines. Um, the first line has five syllables. The second line has seven. And the third line has five syllables. Uh, this is a poem by Gaki. Next is a sinru. This is just like a haiku, um, follows the same exact pattern, but this one's more about humans and human nature, just everyday things instead of nature, instead of the natural world. Okay, so this example is by Christine O'Connell George. First day, new school year, backpack harbors a fossil, last June's cheese sandwich. Okay, this is one of my favorite. It's called a concrete poem, or it's also known as a shape poem. It's written in the shape of its subject. Um, the way that the words are arranged is just as important as what they mean, and it doesn't have to rhyme. So this is an example that I found. I couldn't find who the author was, but it is in the shape of a rainbow, and the words that are in it describe each color of the rainbow. So if you were doing one about football, um, you could talk about football and the sentences, the lines, the words, they would all be uh, constructed in the shape of a football. Let's go to the next one. The next is uh, free verse. This poem does not have to rhyme or have any patterns. It can vary freely in length, lines, stanzas, and subjects. So this is one that I found by Myra Cohen Livingston. It's called Revenge. When I found out who took the last cookie out of the jar and left me a bunch of stale, old, messy crumbs. I'm going to take me a handful of a handful and crumb up someone's bed. So this is an example of a free verse. You can see there's no really pattern in it. it just kind of goes along. This is an acrostic poem. These are pretty popular. Um, the first letter in each line when you read down the page, spells out the subject of the poem. It's a type of free verse, and it normally doesn't um, rhyme. So this is an example by Paul Pauli. Can't say it. Um, it's called Leaf. You can see it going down this way. It spells out leaf, and then across it has a sentence that describes a leaf. So it goes loose brown parachute escaping and floating on puffs of air. The next one is um, nonsense poems. These are supposed to be humorous with silly characters and actions and it's meant to be more fun. It can be written as a limerick or as another form of poetry. Um, this, an this is another example. Uh, the poem goes, I kissed a frog because I'd heard that it would be that it would turn into a prince. That's not exactly what occurred, and I've been croaking ever since. So you can see that it rhymes. Um, it's just supposed to be silly, just a silly poem. Uh, if you've ever heard of Shel Silverstein, he makes a lot of nonsense poems. He has a lot of books that are, um, they're all funny poems, they're cute poems. Okay, um, what I want you to do is leave a comment on the video and let me know what your favorite type of poem is out of the ones that we've talked about, or if you know of any other types of poems that I didn't talk about. All right, goodbye.